This LOS is estimate the percentage price change of a bond for a specified change in yield given the bond's approximate duration and convexity. So I'll just start with a quick formula review. Recall that the approximate modified duration, we're looking at the price of the bond when rates uh, drop minus the price of the bond when the rates uh, increase. So that's the bigger price minus the smaller in the numerator times, uh, in, the, in the denominator, two times the change in yield times the original price, okay? And we also worked through in previous LOS the um, formula for the approximate convexity and the numerator uh, similar that we have the price of the bond when the rates drop plus, plus the price of the bond when the rates increase minus two times the original price in the numerator and the denominator was the uh, change in yield squared times the original price. Okay, so we've done that before, a quick review of the LOS. Now in this new LOS, they're going to give us the modified duration and uh, convexity, okay? And what we're going to need to do is calculate the percentage change in the price of the bond. So we have this formula here that we need to memorize, and the uh, percentage change in the price of the bond is the negative annual modified duration times the change in yield plus one-half the annual convexity times the change in yield, okay? So this makes sense. We know as uh, rates increase, uh, so if this is positive, the price is going to go down. That's why it's negative here. And if rates go down, uh, prices are going to go up. So if that's a negative, a negative, this half is going to be positive, And that's going to drive the direction in terms of the price change. But the best way to tackle this LOS is just to do two practice questions. The first practice question, a bond has an annual modified duration of 7.02 and an annual convexity of 65.18. If the bond's yield to maturity decreases by 25 basis points, the expected percentage price change is closest to A, 1.73%, B, 1.76%, or C, 1.78%. Okay, this question is not too bad if you've memorized the formula, which you absolutely must to do. The uh, percentage, it's looking for the expected percentage price change. So it equals the negative uh, annual modified duration. So that's easy, negative 7.02 times the change in yield, and it's 25 basis points. So that's going to be 0, 0, 2, 5. Remember, I think we're getting good at our basis points. And then it's going to be plus 1 half the annual convexity times the change in yield. Don't forget that negative because it says decreases. That's the one thing you have to pay attention to is your signs, okay? But uh, in this case, you're squaring it anyhow, but it's important here to get, your, uh, to get the sign right on that first part. Anyhow, I won't bring up the calculator for this because it's fairly easy. Uh, negative 7.02 times negative uh, 0.0025. That's going to give us a positive number. Plus 0 0.5 times... 65.18 times the negative 0 0.0025 squared. And what are we going to get? We're going to get 0 0.017754 or closest to 1.78. So C is correct. Okay. These questions are not too difficult. You just have to have this formula memorized absolutely 100%. And we'll just finish this LOS with one more practice question. You can see they're not too difficult. And it's very similar. Uh, the bond has an annual modified duration of 7.14, annual convexity of 66.2. Bond's yield to maturity is expected to increase in this case by 50 basis points. So the expected percentage price change is closest to A, negative 3.4%, B, negative 3.49%, or C, negative 3.57%. Okay, you can see this question, very mechanical. Again, it's using the exact same formula. The only thing to look out for in this case is that you're expected to increase by 50 basis points. So when we look at the negative annual modified duration, that's going to be negative 7.14. It's times a positive number here, point, and it's uh, 50 basis points, so 0 0.005. So we're going to, you see that's going to be a negative, okay? In the previous question, the rates were decreasing, so the prices are going to go up, so that would be negative times a negative, and that's going to be a positive. And really that's the key to this question, is looking at the rates, uh, whether they're increasing or whether they're decreasing, getting the sign right, okay? Uh, and then it should be fairly easy because it's just the negative annual modified duration times the change in yield, 50 basis points, plus one-half the annual convexity times 
the change in yield squared. So if we do that, I won't even bring up the calculator. It's so easy in the interest to save a bit of time on these videos. The question, uh, the answer is going to be negative 0 0.034873 or negative 3.49%. So the correct answer is B. All right. So for this LOS, in terms of calculating the expected percentage price change, when we're given the annual modified duration, we're given the convexity, and we're given the expected change to the bond's yield to maturity. We're just using this formula in summary. The uh, um, expected percentage change in the price is approximately equal to the negative annual modified duration times the change in yield plus brackets one half annual convexity times the change in yield squared. And that's the last for this LOS. Thank you.